third time is the charm. On the left hand side we have our perspective for piano only version. On the right hand side we have perspective 5, the timbre version. On the left hand side we have still shots of the snowball. On the right hand side we have animated shots of the snowball. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for the New Era, Episode 16, Crossovers. Today's episode, we re-entered, reflecting that we're now wondering what would it be like to compose in 3D physical space, as well as 3D sound and 3D uh, virtual environments on a computer. Um, we had decided to move from a pure slide animation of the snowball, which you saw on the left-hand side, and we did in the last episode, to a motion uh, video composition, which you saw part of on the right-hand side. And in order to progress that, we felt we also needed to take our kind of quote-unquote two-dimensional piano only and turn that into a multi-dimensional many, many timbres version so that is what we did here. This is our new clip version of the snowball. We'll play a little bit of it for you. So the first thing you can see that happened is we definitely did a transition from a still to a motion. Now here we'll do it again and listen to the music. So we change from a still to a motion and here What we like about that is the uh, fortuitousness of uh, one of the attendees walking on into the camera view while, while we were filming the live. So what we ended up doing was we actually, let's return our window to the normal point of view. We ended up just repeating the music over and over and over again in order to fit in a total of about six and a half minutes. But we deliberately alternated. Not only did we shift back and forth between still image and moving image, we shifted between piano 2D and timbre multiple dimension music. And you can see the piano, timbre, piano, piano, timbre, piano, timbre. So we like how that turned out. Now what we're going to do to bring us home is simply play the timbred version and we'll take the repeats out and just listen to the elements. Here we go. And what we like about this is using glockenspiel and vibraphone to replicate the sparkle, contrabass and bassoon to replicate the shimmer. We also had to fiddle around with the octaves to get it to sound balanced and good together. Here you see a plus 12, where we didn't do a plus 12 here. And finally, we flipped the piano into a polysynth and the uh, piano low into a sweep synth, which we adore. So that concludes today's episode. Our ideas for next time are to, uh, we did test renders of the movie, so we need to QA it. 
Um, we're still thinking about whether we're going to compose extra music in addition to what you just heard. Uh, do we want to tighten up the video? Is six and a half minutes too long? We're not sure. What we noticed is that having visuals uh, kind of distracted us from hearing the rep repetitions of the music. We said that right here. Um, so it might work. It might just work the way it is. And then um, we also kind of identified three overall arcs in there. So anyway, we're going to look at that some more. And our good old friend to be determined. Shout outs to Silent Lurker. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.